Hey everyone, thanks for taking the time to learn more about uh, building KPI widgets in QuickBase. Uh, our new dashboards bring about a whole host of new functionality that we're really excited for you to get your hands on. And in this session, we'll go deeper into a new way to report on key metrics in your business. Uh, I am Ryan Murray. I'm a product manager at QuickBase. Um, I've been with QuickBase for over six years now. Uh, and you know, just this past year, it's been really exciting for me as a product manager, watching our new UI sort of transform uh, right under our fingertips. Uh, one of the things that I'm, I'm really, really excited about is our new KPI widgets, like I just mentioned, uh, to give you more ways to report on your business objectives and track progress towards goals. So we have a few different takeaways for this session. Uh, KPI widgets, they allow you to easily track performance uh, using data in your QuickBase applications. We've restyled our gauge charts uh, for our new dashboard. So uh, you can use all of your existing gauges uh, on your new dashboard and give it a nice modern uh, look and feel. Uh, and there are a few different ways to customize uh, these new widgets to, to suit whatever uh, your unique business needs are. So a few things that we're going to go over here today. One, we'll, we'll cover what is a KPI widget. We'll look at adding your KPI widget to a dashboard and then customizing that. We'll actually get in the product hands-on and, and show you how that works. So uh, for those who don't know, you know what a KPI is, it stands for Key Performance Indicator. Uh, and Oxford Dictionary uh, defines this as a, a quantifiable measure used to evaluate the success of an organization, an employee, et cetera, and meeting objectives for performance. Now, um, if this sounds confusing to you, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it because there's a very, very good chance that you're already doing this in your QuickBase applications without really knowing what a KPI is. If you do know this, great, you're in, you're in awesome shape for, for what we're going to learn today and how you can help configure uh, our new widgets to, uh, to show the data that you're, that you're really interested in. So I always find it helpful uh, before you start building uh, in QuickBase to ask yourself a few different questions before you get going. For now, for KPI widgets specifically, uh, you should ask yourselves: you know, one, what are you planning to track? Um, are you looking to track the total lost time on a factory floor, or the average time it takes to ship a package from point A to point B? Um, or how many, how long it takes for you to move a prospect through your sales cycle. Uh, so just keep those in mind before you start building. Um, now that you have, you know, sort of what you want to track, you'll want to ask yourself how it aligns to your business objectives. Are you hoping to reduce lost time on the factory floor or decrease the time it takes to ship a package or increase the engagement score or the number of activities that your customers have when they're interacting with your sales folks? Um, all good things to sort of keep in mind uh, before you ever start building. Uh, last, probably the most important question here is, can you measure this in QuickBase today? Is your application at a point, is it tracking the data already that, uh, that you need in order to report on this metric? So with that, I figured it uh, might be helpful to throw a few examples at you just to get the gears turning on uh, ways that you can sort of leverage this already in QuickBase. Now, remember, we already have our gauge reports. You probably are using them already in your applications, on dashboards, on embedded in forms. Uh, so you should have a lot of this infrastructure and groundwork already in place. Just more about how do we restyle this and modernize this uh, with this, these new features that we've released. Uh, my favorite uh, sort of KPI so far, 100% of viewers have found this slide helpful. It's a, it's a real fact. Uh, now, a few different ways that we can uh, start to extrapolate some data uh, or get some ideas going for how we're using uh, QuickBase to measure key performance indicators. Think about the, the number of records that meet a certain criteria. So how many, how many open tasks do you have? Uh, how many records were closed last month? Uh, just a few different ways to, to, to leverage the counting capability of QuickBase. Um, you can look at the average duration. So how long does it take you know, your process to complete from uh, you know, A to Z? So from the very beginning to the very end, or just one different type of process. So leverage duration fields that you've already created in your apps. Uh, last one, really good one here is to, to measure progress towards a goal. So the example that we're going to look at in just a second is uh, measuring Kaizens, uh, which are just really areas of improvement or aspects to improve uh, a process. So if we have a goal of hitting 1,000 Kaizens by the end of the year, how are we tracking right now? So what's our, our progress towards that goal? 
So now that we sort of have a baseline of how, of what KPI widgets are, how you can use them in your applications, how you're probably already using them in your applications, let's look at how we're adding them now to our dashboard. Uh, again, uh, this isn't a, a new concept, really just restyling an old friend here. This is our, this is our gauge chart here. This is where it all starts. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a gauge chart now uh, in QuickBase. We're going to put it all together. So what we're going to do next is, again, build that gauge chart, go to our new dashboard, uh, add it as a widget to the dashboard, and then go through all the new customization options that we have here. Cool. Uh, we're going to flip over to QuickBase now. You all should see this. Uh, here is an application, again, that we're using to measure the quality of products that move through our assembly floor. We're tracking issues and losses and then areas for improvement to, to help drive uh, sort of operational process excellence on the factory floor. So uh, what I want to measure here is our Kaizen. So how, uh, how, many Kaizens are we creating uh, on a sort of day-to-day -day basis to hit our goal of you know, 1,000 areas of improvement for the year. So I'm gonna open my Kaizens table. You can see here, uh, we have 104 so far um, in, uh, that we've added. I'm gonna go ahead and click new report. I'm gonna open a chart, we're gonna create this. And then we're going to name this. So we're going to call this number of Kaizens. Really simple. Oops, that already exists. So we're going to do number of Kaizens created. Great. Uh, we won't show a description, but as we sort of scroll down here, this is going to be available for everyone. We're going to choose a gauge chart. Great. Now, a few different options here that we have. We have low, we have medium, and we have high. Um, this is to sort of colorize if you're measuring progress towards a goal. Uh, you know, this is one way to do it. This may not work for every KPI that you choose, that you create in your application. So uh, what we've seen some of our customers do and what I do to measure, you know, sort of uh, Kaizen's personally or uh, KPIs personally is to just set all these to the same color. Um, if you just want to show, you know, that one number to track you know, maybe not progress, but you just want to track a number, um, how many how many cases were created, for instance. So in this case, we're counting the number of Kaizen's, really easy. I'm just going to summarize this here. We're going to start at zero, and we have a goal of, let's say, you know, a thousand Kaizen's. That seems really ambitious. Maybe we dial this back and say 500 Kaizen's for the year. That's over one a day. Seems, seems great. If we're identifying one thing to improve on every day, we're doing something right. Uh, so then we have down here uh, sort of the color ranges. So this corresponds to at what point each one of or the, the gauge chart will change color. So it's going to be red or low uh, at when it's below 30% of our target. From 30 to 70, it'll be yellow or medium. And then over 70, we'll have our high. You can configure this to match, you know, whatever sort of unique needs that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Fantastic, there we go, 104 Kaizen's. Still some work to do, we're about halfway through the year. Uh, so we gotta sort of pick up the pace here as we're, we're creating Kaizen's. Uh, all right, and I'm going to now go to my homepage, my dashboard. You'll see here, we, I did a little bit of pre-planning. We've got this nice open space uh, for us to add our gauge chart here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this so I can start configuring. Uh, one thing that I want to show you first, I always find it helpful to show like the baked turkey before we add, uh, before we start, you know, sort of cooking our, our new one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, configure an existing KPI widget. We're going to run through these options really quickly. Uh, so here's our report. So this just measures the total losses. Uh, I'm just counting the number of records in this table. Uh, we have a couple of different options, a couple new ways to display our, uh, our new KPI widgets. You can display it, uh, you know, similar to our old gauge charts as a circle, um, or you could choose to display this as a number only. So a single sort of tile on a, uh, or a single number on a, on a colored background. Um, again, something that I've been trying to do in QuickBase for a long time as someone who has a lot of experience as a builder. Uh, it was always very hard to get, you know, just a simple number to, to show. So really, really excited about this. Uh, as far as customization goes, we have the ability to show and hide the title on the, uh, on the KPI widget. Uh, we can show or hide a target if we've set a target, uh, a meaningful target in our application. Um, again, since we wanted to sort of extend the types of problems you could solve with a KPI uh, widget, 
that you really can't do with a gauge chart. We're making a lot of these optional for you. Um, and then this one down here, we'll get to in just a second. This is uh, what we're calling a, a delta change. So how much has this number changed over a period of time? Now, uh, we do have the option to add a custom title if we wanted to. So if we didn't want total losses, we could just call this losses. And then uh, another sort of new way that we're allowing you to configure more precisely how this data is displayed on your dashboards is with this, the ability to scale the number. Uh, now, right now, I have this set to auto. So what we'll do is you know, sort of detect uh, what order of magnitude this number is. Is it in thousands, millions, or billions? And then we'll round. Uh, for you to, to sort of make this cleaner and more concise. Um, now, if you wanted to show the entire number, super simple, just choose ones here. We'll show you 1,499. Uh, but I personally liked how this was rounded here to 1.5K. Um, we just saw that was 1499. So uh, if you wanted to, you could sort of extrapolate this out a little further. Uh, let's say you wanted to show this to three decimal places, a little redundant here, but just sort of showing you what's possible now. Uh, maybe more helpful with, you know, numbers of bigger magnitude, like millions, billions, etc. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this back the way I found it. Uh, and talk about the description. So this, uh, again, allows you to add some more descriptive text to this widget to help give more context to your end users, the people who are going to be consuming this. So we could just call this uh, losses on floor or losses last week, losses this year. Uh, some give your, again, your end users a little more context into what they're actually looking at. Now, coming back to our delta change, we're actually going to configure that further down, down here. Now, the first thing you'll want to do once you've enabled Delta change um, is choose what field you want to compare the, the KPI changing over. So in this case, I wanted to look at, you know, how many losses were created uh, based on, you know, the, the issue date. So the date that the issue happened, what was our losses like? Um, now, we have a few different ways to look at this. Um, we can slice this by different date periods. So given the issue date, we could compare what, if we had selected yesterday, we would be comparing what the uh, what this value was right now to what it was the day before. If you wanted to do last week, again, real simple, we, we would compare how many losses were have an issue date during this week, this current calendar week, and compare that to the previous calendar week. Uh, same with last month. I think you can follow along with me here, this current month towards the previous month, and then this quarter. So in this case, we actually have you know 32 fewer losses this quarter than we did last quarter. So okay. area of improvement uh, must be because of all those Kaizens we created. So I'm going to go ahead here and just um, update the widget, get back to my dashboard. And now we can go ahead and add that total uh, total number of Kaizen's widget to our dashboard. So again, I've unlocked my dashboard already so I can edit this. Um, I'm going to click the plus button on an empty cell. I will choose report. It's the type of widget I wanna add. And then here I'm going to select which table I want to uh, pull this in. Now remember, you can always choose a report in a different app if you'd like. So this was in my Kaizen's table. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and look at number of Kaizen's created. Awesome. So here we have 104. We can see my target was 500. And since we're below that 30% threshold, this is showing red, hopefully inspiring some action. If I wanted to, I could choose to show this as a circle gauge instead of just a plain number, which I think looks a little better here. Um, and then I'm going to show the title, number of Kaizen's created, but I'll just call, I'll simplify this a little bit and I'll just say Kaizen's created. We do want to show our target because, again, remember, we're striving for that 500 by the end of the year. And, yeah, let's show a delta change. And since, you know, Kaizen's happen rapidly, since we're always trying to identify ways that we can um, find improvements in our processes, uh, I want to include this delta change. And I want to uh, see how it has changed over the previous week. And I'm not going to use the estimated completed date. What I actually want to see is when these Kaizen's are created. Show me, show me the delta here. So you can see we've created 22 Kaizen. Uh, we've created 22 more Kaizen's this week than we had in the previous week. So it uh, looks like you know maybe since we're surfacing this metric a little more frequently, it's uh, you know sort of grabbing our users' attention. Um, we're creating more Kaizen's. We're inspiring that action. 
Uh, great. So this is how we, you know, sort of create um, our our KPI widgets. Um, we are, uh, even though we're, we're very excited about dashboards being generally available now, uh, we still have a lot of work to do. So we definitely want your feedback. Um, so there are a couple of different ways to do that. You can add your feedback on user voice by going to uh, quickbase.uservoice.com or clicking give feedback from your My Apps page, or click give feedback directly on a dashboard. Uh, you see it up in that navigation bar right next to presentation or up next to the expanded widget mode. Um, again, always looking forward to hearing from our customers in ways that you're using the product in ways that we can improve it. So thank you so much for your time. Hope you learned a lot. Uh, for any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us through care or through your uh, CSM.